gloriosa predicantur de te, Virgo Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is the sixth anaphon of nocturnes for this glorious feast of the Assumption. Thy glories are preached, O Virgin Mary. Death is the punishment of sin. Therefore, it was blasphemous the other day that a prelate from the Vatican said that God would never chastise anyone. That's a blasphemous phrase. For we know from Scripture that death is a punishment for sin. It would seem that the holy and sinless Mother of God would have been exempt from that sentence. It would likewise seem that she would never have suffered pain of any sort. Yet God in all his wise providence arranged things differently, says the great St. Alphonsus Liguori. It was pleasing to God that Mary would resemble her son, Jesus, in all things, by dying, by suffering. As we are taught from the devotion of Our Lady of Sorrows, she suffered, and second to her son, she suffered unlike anyone else was ever able to suffer, and suffered more than all the martyrs combined as all the fathers of the church proclaimed that she was actually martyred on Calvary. Even though the optics or empirically looked as though she was not a martyr, but the truth and the reality is that she was martyred on Calvary. And now that she was truly martyred on Calvary, she is an example to us on how to die a most holy and happy death. That's why we proclaim that St. Joseph is the patron of a happy death. Why? Because Jesus and Mary assisted him in those final hours of his life. So there are three things that render our death bitter. Inordinate attachment to the world, remorse for sins, and the uncertainty of salvation. Now the Blessed Virgin was free from these three bitter causes of an unhappy death. And she was endowed with three special graces which made her death joyful and precious. The first, she was totally detached from all created things. Secondly, she passed sinless and in peace. And thirdly, she died in the certainty of eternal glory. So therefore, let's have a little closer look at Mary's joy on the day of her passing, on the day of her dormition. St. Peter Alcandara and St. Aloysius Gonzaga and many other saints upon hearing that their death was came near burst into joyful expressions and gladness. And yet these men and women were not certain of being in possession of the divine grace as Mary was. What joy then must have been Mary's upon knowing that she was certain of salvation and her end was near and so much joy was hers that even on the day that the angel announced to her the coming of Christ in her womb she was then certain of her salvation since the angel called her which St. Jerome looked at that text in Greek and he translated it full of grace but as you know the original Greek that St. Jerome was looking at was a personal pronoun 
that she was she wasn't just full of grace but she is full of grace that's her new name Saint Ildefonsus said that Mary either ought she ought to e either ought not to die or only die of love and that was the day of her death there was so much love she languished in great love longing for heaven longing to be with her son knowing that death is so certain for us and not so certain our salvation because of our sins and continued sinfulness what a consolation it would be were we to from this day forward have Mary as our true mother patroness and intercessor if we were able to embrace our cross today and live every single day with a martyr spirit because the Blessed Virgin she had to suffer with Christ on Calvary but beyond that then she had that joy on her day of her, of her biological passing and so the Blessed Virgin can teach us and show us how to die to ourselves prematurely from that biological uh, reality that is sure to come and by dying like this perhaps we will not have the joy on the day of our death since death is pretty painful <laughs> at least for me I don't know about you but that would be very painful to me but at least by God's grace and being so close to the Blessed Virgin perhaps we can have theological hope all astir glowing within our hearts even on that day even on that day of our passing that we truly love her and render her many services on any given day every day giving our heart to a mother that loves us so much in Christ and she herself who has triumphed over death as she sinlessly left this earth body and soul for heaven this is one holy sacrifice of the mass that we are glad not to put relics on the altar <laughs> because there's no bones of the blessed she might have our baby her baby teeth somewhere out there but kinda lost I would, I would imagine uh, so there's no bones up there on the altar which is a good news we might even we might have little locks of our hair or whatever but we're not blessed to have those objects so therefore our altars bear and so wouldn't it that be a great investment on that sad day of our death to have trusted wholly and entirely into the heart of the Blessed Virgin giving ourselves over to her she who died biologically uh, according to the fathers um, in joy and happiness and I know there's a little caveat I know in the dogma that of Pope Pius XII 1950 it says uh, um, as she left this earth so he never really said the word dying uh, but a lot of the fathers of church speak of her domitian and she, as we said at the beginning of the sermon, with the words of St. Alfonso de Gori, would resemble our Lord in everything. So yes, to have the Blessed Virgin on my bedside, on my deathbed, for me would be the greatest desire of my soul. How about you? have a devotion to Our Lady and the church tries to egg us on with this idea she encourages us a dozen times a day the church has us pray pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death and if we're devoted to the rosary which many of us are those dozens will turn into hundreds of this same phrase so we must start to love now the Blessed Mother and serve her 
and not just render her lip service on every 15th of August, but actually give our hearts to her 365 days of the year. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.